Howdy, I am going to the National Rifle Association Personal Protection Expo. It's in Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth 2, I guess, on September 6th to 8th, 2019. This is going to be a whole bunch of fun. I'll be there with tens of thousands of my closest friends. It's the ultimate experience for skills in personal protection, concealed carry, and home defense. It's kind of cool. I haven't been to one like this. I've been to many NRA conventions and shows and so on, but not something built this way. Tens of thousands will attend, as I've said. There's a concealed carry fashion show, lots of pretty girls. The exhibit hall is jammed with firearms and accessory companies and products. There's 130 seminars. There's a, the MMA champ, Frank uh, Amir, Amar. He's uh, going to be in attendance doing all kinds of fighting demonstrations and tons of other celebrities will be there as well. So if y'all are in the neighborhood, come on, see us. I'll be there. Lots of celebs and they even include me in that. Hey, who knew? I'm a member of the United States men's fencing team. Shh, I've never fenced. Only fencing I ever did was home on the farm. Shh, shh, building. I'd rather do with the sword. It would have been kind of neat. Anyway, he says, I'm unhappy with the world. He represents his country, the United States of America. He kneeled. He kneeled. That's treasonous. He kneeled and he goes on to say, we must call for change. I'm honored to represent my team, Team USA at the Pan Am Games. I won. I'm taking home the uh, gold and the bronze. Home shouldn't be your home if you don't like it so much. My pride, however, has been cut short by the multiple shortcomings of my country that I hold so dear. To my heart, <laughs> racism, gun control, mistreatment of immigrants. You don't like it? Why don't you stay where you are? Go away. <clears throat> People like that make me crazy. In front of God and everybody in the whole world, you're going to take a knee and say, I don't like my country. And then you have the audacity to say, I like my country. You don't. Dumb as forever. Dragon fruit. What's dragon fruit? I think it comes from Vietnam. Jumping. I was in a Albertson store in Las Vegas just the other day and, and I picked one up and I had it in my hand and I thought it kind of looks like a dinosaur thing. And a guy walked by who worked at the store. He whipped out a knife and I've never seen that before. Cut it open and says, here, try it. <laughs> it was very good. I was impressed. So I bought a couple and took them home. Dragon fruit looked kind of weird and it tastes good. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing at all. Post office in the United States of America loses $10 billion a year. How does that happen? How can you run a business that everybody's part of, everybody gets the service, and lose $10 billion a year? Maybe you should act accordingly, adjust accordingly, get paid for it. Like, how is, how is that even possible? Oh, I know. I just figured it out. Amazon, they're really rich, right? All the shareholders are really, really rich. How did that happen? Because they deliver stuff at a subsidized rate. One day I bought a jean jacket, a concealed carry jean jacket from the NRA. It cost me 35 bucks delivered to my home in Palm Springs, California. It didn't fit. So I sent it back, the coat. It cost me $50 just to send it back. More than the coat is worth, okay? More than I paid to get the coat and the, on and on it goes. How does that happen? There's a lot of corporate welfare stuff going on. The free market, Mr. Trump, get him out on that. It's, free market system works, can work, particularly with the post office. Chase Bank, <laughs> they don't work really well. The shareholders in Chase Bank, I don't think they could even like this, could they? Chase Bank, all the uh, brass has said, we're going to close our credit card accounts to Canadians. Zillions of dollars out there to Canadians, and we're going to forgive it all. Uh, forgive it? Here's a guy who went to make a payment. They returned it to him. He owed him $4,500 and said, we're not accepting your payment anymore. <laughs> Have a nice day. How could that even happen? The biggest thing in the news in America, of course, these days is that uh, Epstein thing. I mean, how do you commit suicide? <laughs> Everybody's asking the same question. You can't. Somebody did something. Oh, oh I forgot. It's the president's fault. President Trump. <laughs> Some wax were already saying that. I, right. You know what? I, it, is, it is unbelievable. And, and thank goodness the president has called for an investigation into this thing. I mean, how do you, how's this happen? Was he about to flip? Probably. There's a whole bunch of things that could have been found out, and it's too bad because he's dead. Y'all come back here tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.